Hey guys, it's Jang here from ultimatercom to show you a different way of setting your pinion and spur gear mesh on your RC car. Now to demonstrate, I'm going to use my Traxxas Slash 4x4 where I've just installed a brand new motor. Now I've, what I've done is I've put the motor in and uh, tightened down the two screws that hold it in. I've got the pinion set so that it's at the uh, correct position or the correct offset on the shaft so it will mesh up with the spur nicely but I haven't tightened it down all the way, so you can see I can still move the motor around. And what I'm gonna do here is turn on the radio, off camera, and then we're gonna turn on the car, truck in this case. Now that it's powered up, I'm just going to run it and listen to it. I'm gonna hold on to the motor a little bit to make sure that it's secure. I don't want it to be um, moving completely out of, out of uh, mesh with the spur as I run it. So I just gave it a little bit of throttle and you could immediately hear that that did not sound right. It was rather loud. So now what I'm going to do is very carefully with a firm grip on the motor, as I'm running it, I'm going to back the mesh out. I'm actually going to turn the motor mount. It's going to back the motor away from the spur a little bit while I'm holding it at a fixed um, RPM range and just listen to the sound that comes from the gears. Right there where it became nice and smooth, I stopped so I didn't go any farther than that point. Now what I'm going to do is tighten this down slash 4x4 has only one screw for tightening down the motor mount to set your motor mesh. And now I'm just gonna, gonna kind of verify it by hand just to feel that I do have a gap in there all the way around. Sometimes, especially on Traxxas vehicles, the spur is a little bit out of round, so you want to just go around and check and make sure that you do have some gap all the way around. And this is a small amount of gap, but I have not measured it. But I'm now guaranteed that this is a good mesh. Gears are actually shaped. The individual teeth of the gears are shaped to mesh together. It's not just randomly teeth going together. These individual, uh, these individual edges have a particular shape on them. And when they are meshed at the correct angle and the correct distance, the sound will go down quite a bit, and that's an easy way to set your mesh without having to put a piece of paper in there or kind of try to guesstimate it based on how far it's moving. So there you go. See you next time.